What a great shot that was from Dr. Harry when he arrived because that was a real test. And perhaps feeling a bit tight, he's, he's a bit wary of going with too much to make another mistake, but he's kind of almost got to release it somehow. And he's tried to there, and that's well wide. So uh, an inauspicious start to this final. Finally, his first point. That's good width he's been able to create there. Brilliant. That's the kind of shot making that has stunned opponent after opponent this week by the Italian. The biggest match of the week. He's not going to do anything much from there. That's more like it on his terms. Now that was expertly done. Well, that is the end of it. Very one-sided, really, for the most part, in his favour. He's just a set away now from a maiden title on the tour. It's all down to Bagnus to try and respond. Not moving his feet, not thinking clearly. Calmly done and needed to be. And a big cheer from the local crowd. Spot on. Well, he's managed to get through it, but um, there are certainly Certainly was all right. That's what Bagnus can do, and Gardelli perhaps showing it. Been there for a more routine volley, but has still stayed back. There you go. Do that. He had a reluctance to do it, but perhaps because it was just such a, a horrible start. Dipped in very well over the course of seven matches now. Good angle again.
That's so good from the Italian to find the depth there on that last shot. It worked, but... taken game get a bit of a breather <laughs> Dardari saw him coming Run out of town it's to win his first ATP title. Celebration indeed. What a week and a bit it has been for Luciano Darderi, the third player this year to win his maiden title on the tour. Facundo Bagnis contributed so much to the week, played so well to win so many matches in straight sets, but today he was outplayed. He hit something of a brick wall, and Darderi was a big part of that. His triumph, his first title on the...